Yeah, so our work is funded by Oracle Cancer Trust for uh, 2018 through to 2020, end of 2021. The project completed at the end of last year. And Leah, it was a PhD student, Dr. Leah Ambler, who actually has graduated and she's going on to a, a job now working with clinical trials with patients because it was her passion, the translational science. So that's really fantastic that it's been such a good outcome for her. Uh, the project itself was aimed at uh, head and neck cancer patients and oral squamous carcinoma, which is our, our focus. Um, it's aimed at using our understanding of the pathology of the disease to see if we could create a, a prognostic signature which translationally could uh, identify those patients who are going to experience nodal involvement, nodal metastasis, so that um, neck dissection can be targeted to those patients. Because uh, currently it, it's, it's very uh, it's very unclear which patients are going to experience nose involvement, so it, it, clinically it's difficult to decide which patient to need a neck dissection. If we can help those patients who don't need one, not get one, that obviously improves uh, quality of life and outcomes, and of course improves outcomes for those who do need it as well. So that was the, the overall aim, is to use our understanding of the, the cell biology of head and neck cancer to better tailor treatments, uh, surgical interventions. And uh, what we did in the lab project is we used uh, a, a, a 3D model in the lab of, of, inv of cell invasion. We know that there's a type of cell called cancer stem cells which drive the invasion and the metastatic spread of the tumours, which is what causes the problems. And uh, we developed a 3D model which enriches for those. In, in a, in a, so they, they basically invade out from the centre of this model. We can enrich them. We did a, um, what's called a whole genome analysis of them to identify those genes which are upregulated and then used artificial intelligence to um, identify a, set, a small set of genes from those which are most predictive of, of those patients which are going to um, experience metastatic disease, or no, nodal disease, the lymph nodes of the neck. Uh, we then, uh, well, Leah, then got a, a, a bunch of patient specimens from Bart's Health, from the, the hospital we're allied with, uh, to do a, a sort of proof of principle test to see if this was, was predictive in these patient specimens. It was, which was great. And now uh, we're applying for NIHR funding to um, uh, to expand this to, to a bigger cohort of hundreds of patients just to, to check it and to check the clinical utility which then hopefully to go into the clinic to help patients in, in the way I described at the start.